Tsinghua University, has made brilliant achievements and successfully developed a photonic chip called Tai Chi. Its computing speed has achieved a thousandfold leap compared to silicon chips. This is undoubtedly a huge breakthrough for China's chip industry. Chips are also often called integrated circuits or microcircuits. Most of the chips mentioned in daily life are silicon-based materials. They integrate various components required for circuits, such as transistors, resistors, capacitors and inductors, and wiring on silicon-based semiconductor wafers, and then package them. This type of chip contains hundreds of millions, or even billions, or tens of billions of transistors. Their function is to realize the functions of breaking, amplifying, stabilizing and rectifying the current after power is supplied. With the advancement of Moore's law, chip technology has iterated to the 3 nanometer process. However, with the rapid development of artificial intelligence, 3 nanometer chips will soon be unable to meet demand. What's even more troublesome is that China does not yet have significant advantages in the field of cutting-edge chips. The supply of basic material silica sand is firmly controlled by the United States. According to data, the United States' monopoly share of the high-purity quartz sand market exceeds 90% of the world. At the same time, the most advanced EUV lithography machine market is dominated by the Dutch company ASML, while domestic lithography machines can currently only achieve mass production with 90 nanometer precision, and EUV photoresists and masks are basically monopolized by Japanese companies. This means that the United States, Japan and the Netherlands tightly control key aspects of silicon-based chips, leaving China in a passive position and making it difficult to make breakthroughs in the field of high-end chips. In addition, silicon-based chips perform operations by moving electrons, a process that not only consumes electrical energy but also generates heat. Taking ChatGPT as an example, its daily power consumption has exceeded 500,000 kilowatt hours. If it continues to be upgraded and popularized, power consumption will be extremely huge. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang pointed out, the ultimate development of AI will rely on the support of photovoltaic and energy storage technology. It is not feasible to simply pursue improvements in computing power. At this rate, computers alone will consume electricity equivalent to 14 Earth energy. Altman, the founder of OpenAI, also plans to raise 7 trillion US dollars to expand the production scale of global AI chips. This series of problems is more severe for domestic chips, and the funds required are even larger. If this path is followed, not only will technological leadership be difficult to guarantee, capital investment and energy consumption will also become huge challenges, and may even exacerbate global temperature rise. Therefore, new paths must be explored for future development. This time, Tsinghua University's achievement, the Tai Chi photonic chip developed, successfully solved these problems. Photonic chips have significant advantages over silicon-based electronic chips. First, faster speeds and greater bandwidth. Photonic chips use optical signals to transmit, process and convert data at a speed close to the speed of light. They also have huge bandwidth and can transmit massive amounts of data, making them particularly suitable for AI applications. Secondly, energy consumption is lower. Photons have almost no heat loss during data transmission and are significantly better than electronic chips in terms of energy efficiency. Because they generate so little heat, photonic chips can be densely packed and used without the need for extensive heat sinks. Furthermore, low latency. The transmission speed of photonic chips is extremely fast, and there is almost no delay problem when processing large and complex calculations. Finally, it has strong parallel processing capabilities. Photonic chips can transmit optical signals of multiple frequencies in the same optical fiber, enabling parallel processing of multiple data streams, making it possible for large-scale computing in AI applications. At the same time, Photonic chips also reduce dependence on the photolithography process, 
and can be manufactured without the need for two advanced photolithography machines. The optoelectronic chip developed by a team led by Dai Chunghai and Fang Lu of Tsinghua University is undoubtedly of epoch-making significance. Professor Dai Chunghai is currently an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering and Dean of the School of Information Science and Technology at Tsinghua University. He has conducted a lot of basic work in the fields of stereo vision, three-dimensional reconstruction, and computing instruments. He is committed to revealing the laws of nervous system and brain science and laying the foundation for the development of a new generation of artificial intelligence. Create Support Fang Lu is currently an associate professor and doctoral supervisor in the Department of Electronic Engineering at Tsinghua University, focusing on the exploration of light field intelligent imaging theory and technology. She innovatively proposed a new theory of unstructured light field perception and successfully developed a scanning light field. The meta-imaging sensor effectively solves the inherent conflict between space and viewing angle and achieves a breakthrough in dynamic light field imaging technology at the billion pixel level. Under her leadership, the team abandoned the traditional electronic chip computing approach and instead devoted itself to the research and development of optical computing architecture. Finally, it successfully created the interference diffraction heterogeneous integrated Taikai chip, which achieved 160 tops the W, efficient general purpose intelligent computing capabilities. In comparison, the H100 has a computing power of 2000 teflops, but its power consumption is as high as 700 W, which translates into an energy efficiency ratio of only 2.85 teflops a W. In terms of energy efficiency ratio, the performance of Taikai chip is 56 times that of H100. It is worth noting that H100 is a product of NVIDIA that has been iterated for more than 20 years. In time, if the Taijigang chip can also go through a similar iteration cycle, its potential will be imaginable. In November 2023, the team published a paper on the optoelectronic fusion computing framework in the journal Nature, revealing the first fully analog optoelectronic smart chip they developed, with a computing speed of up to 4.6 quadrillion times per second. This performance is 15 times that of NVIDIA A100. In terms of energy consumption, the performance of this chip is even more amazing. Its energy efficiency is far 4 million times higher than that of high-performance chips, which means that the power required to run a high-performance electronic chip for one hour is enough to support the operation of this optoelectronic chip for more than 500 years. In the field of traditional chips, China has long faced technological blockades and restrictions, but in the field of optical chips, China has successfully ranked among the top in the world. This can't help but be reminiscent of China's automobile industry. In the era of fuel vehicles, there is a significant gap between China and overseas giants. Brands such as Toyota, Volkswagen, and Ford all perform better than China in the market. Through cooperation with overseas brands, joint ventures such as Shanghai Volkswagen and FAW Toyota were born. Although sales have increased, the core technology is not in the hands of China, and most of the profits are captured by overseas car companies. However, in the wave of new energy vehicles, China invested all its efforts and finally mastered core technologies such as batteries, motors, and electronic controls, improved the industrial chain, cultivated a large number of technical talents, and became a leader in the field of new energy vehicles. Today, leading companies in the field of new energy vehicles such as Tesla are also beginning to face pressure to lay off employees. Musk even predicts that nine of the top 10 electric vehicle companies in the world will come from China in the future. Now, China has also opened up a new battlefield in the chip field and is in a leading position. As long as China continues to increase investment in research and development, actively build industrial chains, and cultivate technical talents, China is also expected to achieve major breakthroughs in the chip field in the future. Utilize the advantages of high performance, high bandwidth, and low power consumption of optical chips to develop independent AI chips, and promote chip research and development 
and the progress of various industries through AI technology. By then, Chinese science and technology will shine on the world stage.